The free space. Was that Koopa? No. <laughs> and now for our feature presentation. Okay, everybody, here's my 25th game of Jeopardy for the Super Nintendo, in which I'm continuing this run until I make it up to $1 million. Then a million dollar special will be in the works. <laughs> but so far, I've won myself $825,000. Didn't think I'd make it this far, but I have. Here we go. Jeopardy round, coming up. What categories will we have that I'll try my luck with to add on to my 825,000? Republicans, double duty, double in quotation marks, books, bodies of water, world of fashion, and finally, world capitals. Okay, let's begin. Republicans, 100. The answer is... The first Republican to win the presidency was Abraham Lincoln. Republicans for 200, please. The answer is... Congressman Jack Kemp, quarterback for this New York pro football team. Who are the Buffalo Bills? Republicans for 300, please. The answer is... The president who asked Americans to whip inflation now. Who is Ronald Reagan? Wait a minute. Hello. Oh, Good evening, well. Sir. Actually, it was not Ronald Reagan. It was not. It was not Ronald Reagan. I'm gonna say it was Gerald Ford. Well, it's no longer morning, so. There we go. That's better. Republicans 400. The answer is. Bill Miller, his running mate in 1964, appeared in American Express commercials. Rob buzzes in. Barry Goldwater. Oh, yeah, that's right. Forgot. Republicans for 500. So there. He lost to FDR in 44 and Truman in 48. Uh, don't quite remember. Let's see if Rob knows it any better than I do. And will he take the lead or will he not take the lead? Thomas Dewey. He is going to take the lead, but just for now. Five categories left. Books for a hundred. Yeah, yep. His books, Shogun, World Pan, Whirlwind, Taipan, and Noble House, have all inspired board games. Sue. James Clavel, yep. So Sue's now gonna have a little money to start things off. Let's keep it going. Bodies of water for a hundred. The answer is. Originally at Lewiston, New York, this falls have moved, has moved seven miles upstream. What is Niagara Falls? Bodies of water for 200. The answer is. While Thatcher looks over Parliament, Parliament looks over this. What, are the, what is the Thames? That's going to tie me for the lead for now. Bodies of Water 300. Daily Double. All 900. Hoover Dam gives us this Nevada Lake. What is Crater Lake? Nope. 
no, so I'm going to lose all my money. It's like me, I think. Yeah. I can get it all back. I'll have a uh, Bodies Water 400. The only one of the five Great Lakes entirely in the U.S. I keep getting Crater Lake and Lake Mead mixed up, but I know this one is Lake Michigan. Bodies of Water for 500. You can bet on the banks of this lake between California and Nevada. What is Lake Tahoe? There we go. Tied for the lead again. Books for 200. This 1895 novel, subtitled An American of the an episode of the American Civil War, was written by a 22-year-old. What is the Red Badge of Courage? Books 300. Yeah, Elliot Roosevelt writes mystery novels which feature this historical figure as a detective. Rob. Eleanor Roosevelt. Uh huh. Rob gets it right. He goes up to 1200. Double duty. 100. It makes for a long day at the ballpark. What is a double header? Double duty 200. A flabby facial feature. What is a double chin? I'll take double duty for 300, please. I don't know nothing, for example. What is a double negative? Double duty for 400. Eye doctors call it diplopia. What is double vision? Double duty 500. A marching pace of 120 steps per minute, or twice your usual wage. What is double time? Books for 400. Richard Adams' novel Traveler is a tale of the Civil War as seen through the eyes of this man's horse. Ah, Sue locked me out. And she doesn't know, but I think I do. I'm going to say who is Robert E. Lee. Books for 500. The answer is... A nightmare gave Mary Shelley the idea for this novel. What's Frankenstein? Okay, World of Fashion 100, please. The answer is... The hat and the Mexican hat dance. It was a... Ah, Sue, you locked me out. And she doesn't know again. Thank you. What is a sombrero? Roll the fashion for 200. The answer is... South Seas Gar worn by Dorothy Lamour on the road. <sighs> Sue, stop locking me out. That's a wrong, yep. Just say it. Ah, you bastard. Watch your mouth, young man. 
or else you will die. World of Capitals 100. The answer is... In 1986, Brazil's first conference of street urchins was held in this capital. What is Brasilia? Crap. At George Carlin's site, the second word you can't say is shit this far. The answer is... Edvard Munch bequeathed the work, his works of, this, of art to this Norwegian capital, which built a museum to display them. What is Oslo? World capitals for 300. The answer is... The whites of 10,000 eggs were used to make the bridge of eggs in this Peruvian capital. What is Lima? World capitals 400. The answer is... Most of this city's inhabitants are Serbs. Ah! Sue locked me out. Belgrade. Yep. Capital of Yugoslavia. She's out of the hole and has money again. World capitals for 500. The answer is... This Asian city, the Pearl of the Orient, has an archbishop named Cardinal Sin. What is Manila? World of Fashion 300. The answer is... Where on his body would an Arab would wear the traditional kefiya? What is his head? 400. The answer is... About seven yards long is the loose body wrap worn by Hindu women. What is a sari? World of, and last clue, World Fashion 500. The answer is... The sash worn with the Japanese kimono. What is an obi? And that's going to finish me off the Jeopardy round with $5,100. Rob, 1200 Sue, 200 So she'll go first. Here we go. Double Jeopardy. And our categories are going to be Tunes for Tots, Science, Transportation, Railroad, The Home, and finally, Starts with G. Okay, let's begin Double Jeopardy as I try to add on to my total. Where are we going? Transportation for 200. The answer is... Since the 20s, a Henry has been a slang term for a car from this company. What is Ford? Transportation for 400. The answer is... On July 21st, 1959, the first cargo ship powered by this was launched at Camden, New Jersey. And, dang it, Sue, you locked me out. Oh, she doesn't know it! So that's exactly what she made of herself, Gino. She made that word you just said. <laughs> What's nuclear energy? Or video, no, nuclear power, nuclear power. Okay. Gosh darn it, I can't type. There we go. Transportation for 600, please. The answer is... Vehicle to which a harness racing horse is hitched. Oh. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Oh, it's a sulky. It just now dawned on me, but Sue got in first. $400, Sue. Where are we going? Transportation for 800 The answer is... It can run a, re a thread back and forth through a loom or people back and forth from the airport to the hotel, and Sue locked me out again! A shuttle. Ugh. Sue, stop locking me out, or else you will die. Not really. <laughs> Tunes for Tots 200. The answer is... In The Farmer in the Dell, this stands alone. Something Corey Lawrence cuts a lot. What is the cheese? Tunes for Tots 400. Or Mr. Scugboy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Song title that follows the third, Flies in the Buttermilk, Shoe Fly Shoe. Rob locked me out, dang it! Skip to my loo. 
How are they beating me on the buzzer? I don't know. Tunes for Tots for 600. The answer is... It's the Daily Double Shot there. In Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, he follows Comet in the roster of Santa's Deer, who is Cupid. Keep getting locked out for... I don't know why. Tunes for Tots for 800, please. The answer is... Disney film in which a very merry unbirthday was celebrated. What is Alice in Wonderland? I'm Bob Saget. This is what I do. My house, my car. This is my crew. Oh, I'm, that's better. Tunes for tots for a thousand. Thank you. Putting an old silk hat on him made him come alive. Who's Frosty the Snowman? That's gonna put me over $9,000. It's over 9,000! However you say that. It's over 9,000! Thank you. It's over 9,000! Transportation for 1,000. The answer is... Some say this man's name comes from the Irish cops using it. Others say from the Irishman locked inside it. What is a paddy wagon? That's going to put me in the five figures where I belong at 10,100. Science for 200. The answer is... Galileo attempted to measure its speed by having men on hills flash lanterns at each other. What is light? Science 400. The answer is... Stellar astronomy is the study of these. What are stars? Can't go wrong, Nick. Jerry Coke. I'll have science for 600. The answer is... Prepare from alcohol by the action of chloride of lime. It can put you to sleep. Ah, Sue, stop locking me out! What would it be like in a bottle? Chloroform. Oh, well, that would be something. I was thinking it would be combined with cherry and vanilla. Science 800. Oh, and it's going to cost me because it's one of the two daily doubles. I'm gonna get you for this soon. Avogadro's total number is a total of these atom groups in the mole of any substance and its molecules. And her getting on that clue before me cost me. Oh well. Science for a thousand. The answer is. Nature, according to scientists, ancient scientists, abhors one of these. What is a vacuum? Railroad for 200. Yeah, you know, I'm looking is. for one too. Office for conductor and living quarters for crew. It is often red. What is a caboose? Red. Railroad 400. The answer is. In fiction, espionage and murder plague its Paris to Istanbul run. What is the Orient Express? That's going to put me over $12,000. Railroad for 600. The answer is... If you take a chance at Monopoly, you may take a ride on this railroad. What is the... Reading Railroad? Uh, railroad for 800. The answer is... George Westinghouse invented the air-operated types of these for trains. Ah! Rob locked me out! Everybody's locking me out a lot. Brakes. Yep. I'm tempted to give them a ducky-wucky redneck spanking. Starts with G200. Okay, here we go. This blessing can be said either before or after a meal. What is grace? Starts with G for 400. The answer is... A notable exploit, whether or not it's performed by a man named Bo. What is a jest? And where are your manners? Excuse me. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. <laughs> I know. What we like to do, um, Gino, is that when somebody belches and they say, where are your manners, we like to give a bizarre answer, such as, 
down my toilet and into my sewer. Or they're all over this or they're all over that. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse if me? You're just, if you're yeah. smoking weed and a cop comes up to you and they say, your eyes look bloodshot, you should ask. Your eyes look glazed because you've been eating glazed donuts. <laughs> But here, we don't say excuse me. We give a funny answer. <laughs> but all joking aside, Blue. all joking aside, that belt did not bother me. Starts with G600. The answer is... It's the last, short last name of John Robert, the Irishman known for his hand, shorthand. Hand Rob locked me out. Oh, Greg. Okay, well, I probably would have gotten it wrong anyway, because I didn't really remember. Let's keep going. Starts with G for 800. The answer is... Still doing okay. From the word for hunted meat, it can mean off flavor or off off color or off flavor. What is gamey? Starts with G for 1,000. The answer is... Stithno, Ural, and Medusa. What are Gorgons? Railroad for a thousand. The answer is... It met the Union Pacific at Promontory, Utah in 1869. What is the South Pacific? Let's see if Rob knows the answer any better than I do. It's the Central Pacific, not the South Pacific. What was I thinking? So Rob takes second place. We know the Daily Double's in the other category of the home. Is it in the $200 clue? Please say it's not. Oh, no, it is! Crap. He's going to go three grand. Here's the clue. Of the average shower, bath, and bath, the one that uses less water. And he doesn't know! It's the shower, you ding dong. 400. The answer is. The food elevator named for the silent service it provides. What is a dumbwaiter? Tuber that soaks up excess salt when added to your stew. What is a potato? Eight hundred. The answer is Oops. trickle, trundle, Murphy, and now futons. What are beds? Last clue. The answer is. These rough wooden shingles give houses a rustic look. What are shakes? That's going to put me at $17,100. Sue, 3600 Rob, 1000 Final Jeopardy coming up. Category is composers. I think I'm feeling good. I'm gonna go all in. Once forced by poverty to sleep in the in the streets of Vienna, he went on to create the creation. Who is Franz Joseph Haydn? That's gonna put me at thirty-four thousand two hundred dollars. gonna go all in obviously let's go to Alex Trebek final Jeopardy answer is is it Franz Joseph Haydn yes it is oh wait a minute I had my total wrong 
Rob got it right. Sue also got it right. And I also got it right. Which now means I have a 25 game winnings total of $859,200. And I'm coming back for more. See y'all for my 26th game coming soon.